G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the first video on the channel for 2023. I appreciate everyone tuning in for the first vid of the year. I cannot wait to get back into the swing of things and I really appreciate everyone for joining me. Let's get into my ins and outs for 2023. Outs for 2023, saying happy birthday to yourself on social media. I cannot stand that when someone puts up an Instagram post and it's early in the morning, isn't it? It's never like 8 p.m. at night after a great day. Happy birthday to myself. It's always like early in the morning so they can really cash in on the love and the messages that they get on that day. In for 2023 is NHL. I'm loving NHL. I go for the New Jersey Devils. My favorite player is Jack Hughes, and I might make a video on my newfound passion for the National Hockey League because I'm absolutely loving it recently. Out for 2023. I might receive a little bit of hate for this, and I am the least fashionable man you'll ever meet in your life, but baggy jeans. Like, like I understand right now that it's cool to wear baggy jeans, and I am not cool because I'm not wearing baggy jeans. I was sort of around when baggy jeans was a nostalgic sort of sin. Like everyone, when I was growing up, would look at old photos of baggy jeans and go, oh, geez, that looks a bit dorky. Uh, and now I'm living in an era where they're cool. So I look right now and I go, baggy jeans were dorky and baggy jeans in the future will be considered dorky looking back. But right now they're cool. It looks like you're wearing parachute pants. Um, I don't reckon we can continue this in 2023. Out for 2023 is the shaming of Philadelphia fish burgers. Josh Garlop often makes videos and jokes about the Philadelphia fish burger, and I, I just can't have it. I've spoken to the man before and said Philadelphia fish was my Macca's burger growing up. Now I know it's a little bit outrageous to have cheese on fish, but it works. It works. Like imagine going to a fish and chip shop and saying, "Oh, can I get one flake, mate?" And as you get home, you just whack tasty cheese on it now. I understand that that concept is so foreign and so outrageous, but in the burger with the tartare sauce, the, the tasty American cheese, it's like it's like a premium fish finger, but in a Macca's bun. It's the, the bun steamed. The fillet of fish is remarkable, and you gotta whack your chips in there as well. Oh man, in for 2023 is Twitter. One of my favorite apps, to be honest. I always go through Twitter and it's probably got the most numbskulls on it. Like if you if you get too deep into some of the forums and some, some of the arguments, it really hurts your brain and you lose brain cells reading them. But if you just steer clear, the memes are funny, uh, the videos that pop up are funny. I, I would say Twitter and TikTok are the funniest social medias out there. And um, yeah, I'm a big fan, of, uh, big fan of Twitter. Out for 2023 is the Sydney Test Match. Um, are we are we gonna do this again? There's no point playing it. Like it just rains every time at that time of year. So I don't know whether we move the Sydney Test match to like the first game of the season. I know that that's probably prime time for the Gabba. Maybe you swap the Sydney Test with the Perth Test. Like maybe the Sydney Test is second in mid December, and then the Perth Test is like prime time, uh, New Year's when the sun is absolutely pounding the concrete over in WA. But the Sydney New Year's Test match has to be out in 2023 guys seriously out for 2023 for me is vox pops has anyone ever like clicked on a vox pop and watched it the whole way through <laughs> like i love a good 20 second out of context vox pop that pops up on my tiktok potentially but i've never sort of clicked on a full 10 minute vox pop video and to be honest most of them i find them so cringy because like they're, they're meant they're meant to be cringy like obviously the questions they ask are meant to be silly and and light-hearted but i, I just Making people uncomfortable in public is not my cup of tea and seeing people sort of awkward and uncomfortable in public is, I don't know, it gives me sort of the shivers. So for me, Vox Pops are out. In in 2023 is the Twilight Grand Final for mine. So I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the night grand final. I think waiting around all day till seven o'clock is frustrating, but the four o'clock Twilight Grand Final. Now all the traditionalists can have a cry because it starts at 2.30, so I reckon you could push it back an hour and a half. Um, so the four o'clock Twilight Grand Final, where it starts in the afternoon, and by halftime, the halftime show and the music is under lights, and the celebrations are under lights, like the lap of honor at the G, the floodlights are on. 
I reckon that's some of the best scenes, like the fireworks and whatnot. I reckon that's some of the best scenes. And last season, I felt like the grand final crept up on me. I sort of rolled out of bed at nine, went for a bit of a jog, sort of got a little bit of my shopping done. All of a sudden it was 12 o'clock. I got to the, the barbecue at 12.30. All of a sudden, like the pre-game entertainment's on and I've been jumped. I've been startled by the start of the game. It came at me too quickly. So push it back an hour and a half and we're all happy. So in is the Twilight Grand Final. In for 2023 is plastic straws. Now I love a turtle as much as the next bloke, but seriously, the paper straws is, it's an issue for all. Um, I love a iced long black from McDonald's and I am not like a, fast sipper of them like I, I sort of just nip at them for two hours like my ice long black will sit there for two hours um, and that paper straw is just paper mache by the end of it <laughs> to be honest that paper straw uh, is in all sorts so bring back the plastic straws I'm sorry um, to all the turtles out there and you know I want to help out in improving the environment but plastic straws are back for 2023 out for 2023 is the arctic monkeys probably the most overrated band in the world. I'm a massive The 1975 man, and they don't get a, you know, a pinch of the love that the Arctic Monkeys get. Like the Arctic Monkeys are a, a universally loved, massive rock band. And when I watch them, I just, it's a bit of a snooze fest for mine. They sort of arrogantly mosey on the stage, play a couple of songs, there's not much crowd work, and they pop off. So. Uh, I think if you compared the two bands, the 75 are superior, and it just irks me that they don't get the same amount of love. Outs for 2023. I told you there'd be more outs than ins. Um, the novelty palmy. So I'll go to a palmy night, and I cannot stand that people get like the Mexicana, and it's like corn chips on a palmy. Like that's on a palmy. Just it doesn't really make sense to me. Go and get your ham, Napoli sauce and some cheese on a breadcrumbed schnitzel. Like that's a palmy. Let's get away from the novelty palmies and sort of stick to the tried and true. All right guys, that is it for another video. Hopefully you enjoyed some of my ins and outs for 2023. I'm going to do a footy version of this in the next month or so uh, as we ramp into the AFL season. Uh, once again, guys, I really appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone tuning in. We're in for a big 2023, so I can't wait to bring content to you guys this year. I'm super pumped and cannot wait to get stuck into it. So I appreciate everyone tuning in, and I'll see you all next time for some more videos. Cheers.